The government has announced its new energy strategy for 2050, a plan allowing Switzerland to do without nuclear power. One aspect is to build a combined cycle gas plant, which should help overcome the electricity gap. It's not that we want to build gas power plants, but we're responsible for the country's electricity supply. If we succeed in exploiting the full potential of renewable energies, we can do this with one gas power station. The more we fail to reach our targets, the more we'll have to consider the alternatives, either to import electricity or to build more gas power plants. Today, Switzerland's electricity supply can be broken down as follows. 54% hydropower, 40% nuclear energy, and 4% other sources. Only 2% comes from new renewable energies. In 2050, it should be 56% hydropower and 4% cogeneration, which combines the production of heat and power. Then 30% should come from new forms of renewable energy, and 10% from combined cycle gas power. Cabinet estimates the costs for the transformation at 30 billion francs. There are mixed reactions to the cabinet's new strategy. Environmentalists don't think it's ambitious enough, while the pro-business radical party thinks it's illusionary. Others say the costs are set far too low. The plan, however, goes beyond remodeling electricity production. Apart from further researching renewable energies, it sees potential in using energy more effectively. Buildings can be renovated to become more energy efficient. Companies that commit to certain goals will be exempt from carbon emission taxes. And finally, people will also have to make a contribution and rethink the way they consume energy. Today, each Swiss uses some 6,500 watts of energy per year. Politicians are discussing whether that could be lowered to 2,000 watts by 2080. Is this too ambitious? Jan Suter always cycles to work. He lives in a small apartment, has no radio, no TV, and no newspaper. At night, he never has more than one light switched on. This place is quite cool, since the heating is switched off most of the time. It's not quite 18 degrees. I'm fine with this temperature. Only when it's very cold do I turn the heating on. That's maybe 10 days every winter. Instead of showering, he uses a washcloth. He flushes the toilet with a water tap. He stores his food in the cellar instead of a refrigerator. I live with even less than 2,000 watts. But I understand that this is quite difficult, given that our lifestyle is based on more and more growth. Obviously, this kind of lifestyle is not everybody's cup of tea. Supporters of the 2,000 Watt Society want to bring the change within three generations. They hope that by then, heating systems, cars and electronic devices will be so efficient that people can continue having a comfortable life while consuming far less energy than they do today.